I'm from Puerto Rico, and I noticed that I didn't see feral cats in Manhattan, but I found lots in Brooklyn. There's more green space here, more empty lots and alleyways, and a lot of abandoned cats have made their home here. They don't want to be indoors. They were born and raised outside, you know, for years, so it's pretty much like a wild animal. They wouldn't want to be in a home. There are an estimated 100,000 cats here. Valerie Greenbold coordinates a cat shelter in Brooklyn and says they are always full. It's never ending, unfortunately, so we have to turn a lot of animals away unless, you know, we have the space to take them in. The shelter turns to people like Juliana Moreno, who foster cats. She works part-time, has two kids and a small apartment, but has made room for five kittens. It's kind of busy lifestyle, but the kittens, they kind of fulfill a part that is, well, very specific. It's like babies, which is adorable to have around. It's a different type of work because it's volunteers. It brings me joy. It gets uh, tiring at some point, especially when you do it back to back. And it's temporary. Eventually, her adoptees will need to find a home. Then I take a break and then eventually, like a month later, I'm like, oh, I miss them. <laughs> but she understands why so many cats are abandoned by people who take them in with the vet uh, because they don't uh, realize how expensive it could be. The increase in homelessness is another problem. Shelters typically don't allow pets, so people who lose their homes lose their pets too. According to animal care centers, the proportion of cats in shelters has increased 13% since the pandemic started. Left in the wild, they reproduce at a rapid rate. All the animals here are spayed, neutered, vaccinated before getting adopted. The problem is cats are not good mousers, but they're great at reproducing. One female cat can average two to three litters of kittens every year. So Flatbush Cats, a nonprofit, trots feral cats, sterilize them, and returns them to the street. We asked some Brooklynites how they feel about stray cats on their streets. I don't think that the cats are a bother. Um, I think that, if anything, cars and people probably bother the cats. This family likes them so much, they feed the cats. We take the cats and we pay for them, either us or our neighbors, we're responsible for, for them. Um, and then we leave them on the street to live their life. But there's an upside. There are fewer rats in Brooklyn than Manhattan. And cats are getting the credit. For Two Nighting West, I'm Genesis Davila Santiago.